And now for some big celebrity fashion moments. Joining me to break it all down is our style producer and my friend, Anthony Whoa. Ramos. Uh, okay, let's get started with Mandy Moore. I mean, I kind of love this. This is kind of like the reinvention of Mandy Moore with This Is Us, you know, getting so many nominations at the Emmys. She's definitely going, okay, this look I like on her because it's a little bit more girly, feminine, and frilly than we've seen on her. Mm -hmm. I think what I like about Mandy is she's working with a top Hollywood stylist to really keep her look different. Yes. She's mixing it up with, you know, different vibes, different patterns. I think she, I mean, she's done capes, she's done floral. So that makes it really exciting. And I think heading into the, uh, the Emmys next month, she's going to be really, you know, wanting to impress us. So I think we're going to see a big showstopper looking for her. I like it. Another leading lady on TV we are going yes. to see at the Emmys is Tracy Ellis Ross, and she is always mixing it up. I love her fashion. The coolest thing about Tracy Ellis Ross is that you can see her own, like, vibe and fashion personality and personality in everything that she wears. And I have to say, the designers are taking note, too, because that's Chanel 2017, and that is not easy to come by. <laughs> but I love that, you know, she, again, mixes mixes it up she doesn't you know follow any rules no. she has fun with it she does she's not afraid of color prints no. anything and I think that the designers are really taking notice and kind of like giving her access to the high fashion so good good job Tracy good job Tracy all right let's talk about Julianne Huff she's a newlywed and just made her first red carpet appearance as a married woman Anthony uh, what was she wearing here? this is a Jenny Packham look and I think it's super cool but I have to say Very this, housewife. it's a little like 60s housewife and, I, and she was just on her honeymoon so maybe she had a few extra cocktails or a few extra, you know, meals because she is covering up a lot because that body we saw at her wedding is kind of insane. But I say a married couple puts on 10 pounds, exactly. a happily married couple puts on 10 pounds. I mean, pounds. we're not saying she gave 10 pounds, but I do think that that's kind that of like a you're little. Eating, yeah. having fun going out. And yeah. can we take a look at that bag one more time there? That's kind of a cool little clutch there. It says universal love at the bottom. Aww. So it's kind of a cool little like statement that. right there. I like that. All right. Well, moving on to Beyonce. She really, and I mean really, wants us to know that she got her body back. I know, and I know the Beehive has these theories of she was pregnant, wasn't she? I mean, whatever it was, and I, this look is... No, you could she, tell. She was pregnant. She's, she was pregnant, and now she is not. Look at that. I mean, <laughs> this is kind of like a, kind of like a 70s, like, I don't even glam vibe, 80s. I love it, velvet, and that's actually... Uh, she what is she be putting a little on? Shaka Khan. And what is she putting on display right there, Liz? Her Beyonce-ness. Beyonce-ness, right? <laughs> Liz, this is actually House of CB, which I know that you love. I am a very big fan of House of CB.